shotgun, people. Look at this. Three people. Dead. The police weren't there to save them. Oops. It was the cops that killed all three. Welcome to another episode of Earning the Hate. So, this is a triple homicide, kidnapping, catfishing, uh, Virginia State Police uh, killed the mother because he wanted her daughter, killed the mother's parents, the daughter's grandparents because he wanted the daughter, and then he burnt the house down. This guy was like a one-man killing spree. They're not saying that he used his police powers and police access to information to find this girl in California when he lived in Virginia. But let's take a look at this case. Kind of interesting. ...where a family was murdered and police say it began with online catfishing from across the country. This is the uh, fine Virginia state police officer. Uh, this is this is when government tells you that if only government had guns because we do backgrounds, then you'll be safe. The same government wants you to give up your guns so they can protect you. A man pretending to be someone else with the intent of sexually exploiting a teenage girl, and it turns out the murderer was a cop. That new information in that triple murder case is horrifying. The killer dead after a wild shootout with deputies in a Mojave Desert ghost town. I'm Jory Rand. Michelle and Jory, it's very disturbing. Police say this triple homicide was committed by a predator who developed an online relationship with a teenage girl, then traveled across the Cal country to California, killing her mother and grandparents. Chilling new details about the murders of Mark Winnick and Sher Oh, they're holding donuts? Maybe that's why the cop targeted them. Oh, but I digress. Mary Winnick, both in their 60s, and their 38-year-old daughter, Brooke. The bodies found Friday morning after a fire broke out in their Riverside home. Around the same time, police officers were dispatched to do a welfare check after a girl who appeared distressed was seen getting into a red Kia. With okay, so that was a key point that I thought was kind of interesting. They didn't say she was kidnapped. They didn't say he forced her at gunpoint into the car. He said it appears she was in distress. She was in distress because he just killed her grandparents and mother. But my guess is she got in a car voluntarily. She wanted to leave. They said no. And he killed him. But we don't know the facts yet. With a man near the family's home, detectives have identified that man as 28-year-old Austin Lee Edwards of North Chesterfield, Virginia. Back the blue till it happens to you. We had, you know, a grandmother, a grandfather, and a mother of this teen murdered uh, by this suspect who... Well, now he's a suspect. Normally, you cops are all about the blue line. He's a fellow officer. He's this. Now he's just a suspect. Okay, I got it travels from across the country um, for most likely would be the sexual exploitation of this teenager. Police believe Edwards lured Brooke Winnick's teenage daughter into an online relationship. Mom's got some, well, good looking eyes. What happened here in terms of the catfishing, as they call it, uh, that common practice of, uh, you know, online deception where you're pretending to be someone else. Gee, pretending to be someone else. That sounds like every cop press conference I've seen. That sounds like every news report I see. They're pretending to be someone else. You can't believe that sounds like government. Oh, I'm sorry. It's called catfishing. I'm just trying to keep you guys up to date. Detectives say Edwards, who recently worked for the Virginia State Police, traveled from Virginia to Riverside and parked near the Winnicks home. So this is this is what's really sad is this this grandmother had their daughter living with them and their daughter and their granddaughter living with them they work they have this nice house and they raise a daughter who has a child single mom we're not hearing anything about dad and they both live here and because the daughter gets online because maybe mom's not involved maybe that's why they're living there whatever the daughter gets involved with some freaking freakazoid virginia state police gives out all their info he comes up kills everybody burns down a house takes her Perfect. They believe he murdered her family before leaving with the teen. Hours later, his vehicle was spotted in San Bernardino County in the area of Kelso. Investigators say Edwards was killed during a gun battle after firing shots at deputies. Wow, what if he uses police pistol? Uh, so I was trying to find more information about this guy. I've got a little bit more info. 
the teenager was not injured. That's shocking. They killed him and didn't kill her? It shouldn't be shocking, but the way cops spray and pray, I'm surprised they killed him and didn't kill her. This is just a very... And before somebody comes here and goes, Rick, police would never do... There's plenty of cases that I've covered where they've shot hostages and people in the car. Not involved. Hell, they just shot a lady yesterday from a video that was just standing next to a dude with a gun. And they shot her ass. So don't come here and try to, man, why are you hating on the cops and making us look bad? You were a cop. You should be. Shut up, you freaking crybabies. Clean your own house and maybe I wouldn't have to be pointing this out. A, a tragic example of how dangerous those interactions can be. Uh, I agree with the cop. Anytime you have contact with a cop, it's a dangerous interaction nowadays. Devastated neighbors and relatives mourning the deaths of the family members during a candlelight vigil. I just want everybody to know how loving they were. They don't deserve this. Police are still looking into Edwards' law enforcement background. Now he wasn't only just a cop at Virginia State Police. He was a sheriff's deputy before he transferred to the Virginia State Police. He had two backgrounds. Wow, Rick, he must have been really good. He was a government employee with a gun that was going to protect and serve me. Well, that's because you're an idiot. Now we reached out to the family and they say they may make a statement on these new developments tomorrow. Reporting live. All right, let's see what else we got here. Murdered and police say it began with online catfishing from across the country. A man pretending to be someone else with the intent of sexually exploiting a teenage girl. And it turns out the murderer was a cop. Horrifying. We need more gun control. Because government employee that we gave a gun, we certified to carry a gun, we gave him power to shoot, kill, and arrest people, and he ended up killing three people off-duty to molest a young teenager and burn down their house. We need more gun control. That's the liberal line. So this happened the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, in the morning, officers were sent to conduct a welfare check regarding a young female who appeared distressed. Not fighting, not taken at gunpoint. Distress mean she was crying and upset because she knows that this guy just killed her grandparents and mother. While officers respond, a fire call came in. And then the big red truck came. Firefighters from Riverside Police Department put out the fire. Yay, fire department. All right. Their bodies were pulled out, determined to be victims of apparent homicide. Probably they were shot. According to police, Penelope investigator revealed a young female described initial warfare check was a teen who lived at home. When fire broke out, she was with the man, identified as 28-year-old police officer, Virginia State Police. Man, they really do a tough background there. Uh, Detective Evers met the girl online through a con form, deception known as catfishing. So they're blaming catfishing right now. They, they'll blame the gun. They're not blaming government failure with all your 30,000 gun laws doesn't stop people from doing evil. All it does is disarms good people that can't defend themselves. I'd like to know if the parents that were killed had any guns, if they were anti-gun, if maybe they had a nice little sign at the door maybe stating a no-gun zone. Maybe that would have saved them. Edwards lured the teen into an online relationship. It wasn't her fault. She's not responding. They're already giving her excuse. It's not her fault. He lured her. Okay. She's just a victim. Everybody's a victim. Uh, grandmother, grandfather, teen murder, must travel across country. Uh... Later that day, Edward was found driving. Our hearts go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The exact cause of the death remains unknown. He killed him. We don't need to know the cause of the death. Cause of the house fires on investigation. He started the fire. You don't have to worry about that investigation. I'm telling you. Okay? Uh, I want everyone to know how she's loving, uh, stepping up, helping a single mom. Oh, it even says, learned that she was a single mom. Aww. Helps set up the family. He was a coach. I want you to notice the cryptic language they use. It's believed that Edwards developed an online relationship and obtained her personal information. Doesn't say that he used his police powers and government access and databases that the government tells us will protect us. And now it's used to find out where you are so I can go kill your family. Perfect. And we'll, do, we'll just say he uh, got her personal information and the idiots reading this won't know anything better. Detective said Ed works for the Virginia State Police until recently and was employed with the Washington County Sheriff's Office in Virginia. Two backgrounds. Two great government things protecting us and keeping us safe. So it says they tracked him. I'm assuming they either had his phone or her phone, and that's how they tracked him. They're not really saying. Deputies spotted, following, aircraft tracked him till SWAT 
could get in place. Our officials said that when the team intercepted the vehicles, Edwards did not stop, fired at deputies. Edwards later lost control of the car, drove off the road. That means the cop probably ran him or did a pit and tried to kill everybody in the car. Everyone in the car. That's when a girl got out and was rescued. Edwards exited the vehicle, pointed a gun at the sheriff's helicopter, and deputies fired. Upon contact, Edwards was unresponsive and pronounced deceased at the scene. Good. And then the boys in blue were upset because they killed one of their brothers. Oh, the blue line. The girl was not harmed to see. She's in protective custody. Really? She's in protective custody by the same government that hired this idiot to track her down and kill her family. And the same government now is going to save her and put her in protective custody. Earning the hate. Stop trusting government, you idiots. Rick, you shouldn't call your audience idiots. Oh, be quiet, you big crybabies. If you're not an idiot, I'm not talking to you. If you think I'm talking to you, then maybe you're an idiot. Riverside Chief called this yet another horrific reminder of the predators existing online who prey on children. How about the predators in government? How about the predators with badges and guns that government tells us they do backgrounds on and that if we only had more police and paid more taxes, we'd be safe? How about those predators? No, no, Rick, don't say that. You gotta back the blue. A spokesman with the Virginia State Police, Edwards entered the academy July 6, 2021, graduated as a trooper. Ooh, that must have mean he got one of those fancy hats. You know, the one that makes him turn into a dickhead. Uh, on January 21st of this year, he was assigned Henrico County, which is within the Richmond Division, which is all great. That makes sense. Before resigning October 28th. Why would he resign? He got caught stealing or doing something. Maybe he got caught using the information and the computers to track down women. Maybe they knew that he accessed this girl's account and they didn't do anything. Maybe the investigation ought to go back and find out if the government knew that he was a predator contacting a kid and they went, you know what, we'll just let him resign and then we'll say we didn't know. Rick, government wouldn't do that. They would protect us. And they, Yeah, well, that's because you're an idiot. All right, uh, and then expand on the circumstance of every resignation, uh, immediately respond. So we don't know why he did that. Hearts go out to the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a quick search of images on what this guy looked like. Didn't really turn up a lot more. Um, I think there was one more image down here. Yeah, here he is. So there was this image here. And uh, look, he has tattoos. Rick, not everybody with tattoo. Why are you always picking? I'm just saying. He's a cop with tattoos. The only thing missing is he doesn't have his head shaved. And he would fit my stereotype. Rick, stereotypes are bad. Whatever, you freaking crazy people. You better wake up or you're going to be like these people running around your house on fire going, how did this happen? I thought government would protect us. Earning the hate. Police doing their good deed for the day. We'll end that there.